Hey guys, in this video I'd like to talk about and show you the games included in the developer's preview of Windows 8. Um, some of these games are really good, um, some of them still need polishing up, and other um, games are unlikely to um, be shipped with the final release of Windows 8. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Uh, the first game is called Five in a Row. Um, and the objective of this game is to get five of these circles in a row. Um, and you obviously have to stop um, the computer from getting um, five in a row as well. Otherwise the computer will obviously win and beat you. Um, and in this instance, um, the computer has um, obviously won by getting five in a row. Uh, another game is Piano. Uh, which I believe was demonstrated when Windows 8 was um, actually officially announced. Uh, this can be a fun app. Uh, so you can choose the range um, that you want to see on the piano. If your screen is um, big enough, you should be able to see the whole piano. Um, I just um, don't have the biggest resolution enabled at the moment. And if it doesn't all fit on your screen, then you can choose the position that you want to play. Um, you know, for example, I could choose um, that, you know, I want to see, you know, this amount of keys and I want to be on this position um, on the piano. And, and I believe that has something to, to do with um, tuning the keyboard, piano, I'm not completely sure. There were also a few um, tunes included that you can listen to. even record your own tune if you want to. And um, once you've recorded your own tune, it should um, appear at the bottom of the list here. Uh, so that's basically um, the piano, um, you know, application or game. Um, you also have Zero Gravity, which is a little fun, though it still needs um, to be polished up quite a bit. I'm not sure whether or not this will be included with the final release of Windows 8. You basically have to get the guy to the spaceship. Um, if you, you know, point him in the wrong direction, then he will obviously die. So you need to get him um, to the spaceship. And um, as you can see, they have the same um, graphic between every level. Um, if this game is actually um, included with Windows 8, then um, I imagine that they will polish it up a bit more, have a few different, you know, video scenes, etc. Uh, so that's enough of that game. Uh, there's another app I want to show you called um, Microsoft Measure It. Um, I'm not even sure if this is a game or not, to be honest. You know, I just don't get the point of this application at all. You know, like you can, you know, draw, right, oh, the menu's disappeared. You know, you can draw rectangles and lines and all sorts of different things. And it's really buggy too. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's being a bit buggy. It's being a pain in the ass. You know, you can draw, you know, different lines. You can change the colour, you know, of the line. Uh, I just don't get what this app is actually for. I'm not sure if it's a game or what exactly. Um, it's a little bit confusing. And there were no instructions. And I've tried Googling, you know, Microsoft to measure it. They haven't been able to find any information about it. Uh, the next game I'm going to show you is called Tube Rider. This is a very, I don't know, weird game. Um, I doubt this will be included with the final release. So basically, you need to get this hippie guy to the ocean. It's a bit like that oil game where you have to um, stop the oil from leaking. Whoops. This isn't the first jump level. This is further on.
Ah, uh, so that is how um, that game works. We have um, Paint Play, which I suppose is a new version of MS Paint. Um, this game is, you know, this game would probably be more fun if you have a tablet. You can choose, um, you know, the brush type. Uh, that's if it doesn't freeze, of course, like it's freezing now. Hang on a second. You can choose the brush type, um, you know, the brush size, the brush density, the brush colour. You know, you can draw all of your favourite creations, you know, draw whatever you want to draw. So this looks like an app that would be fun if you had a tablet, not so fun on the computer. Uh, but yeah, that looks okay. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Labyrinth. I quite like this. I find it interesting. Hang on, let me um, take you to the first um, level. You basically have to get this ball to the other side as quickly as possible. And I think you get more points if you don't touch the walls. I'm not completely sure. So I got it there in 11 seconds, I got um, 4 stars, though I believe if you don't touch the walls you get more points or more stars or whatever. And you also have to avoid um, the ball going down the holes. It's a bit hard not to touch the walls, I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not. Uh, though, yeah, that's how um, the Labyrinth Farm um, app works. Uh, we have, what is this one called again? Treehouse Stampede. You basically have to type words using the letters here. Uh, so, for example, I can type troll. So, that's basically how that button works. You know, it's an interesting game for children that are learning how to spell, etc. Um, we have this sort of picture puzzle game. It only includes one picture, though. You can, um, you know, choose your own pictures um, if you want. So, you know, this is um, my own picture from one of my other Windows 8 videos I did on, you know, the picture lock screen if you um, watched that. So, this game is, you know, pretty boring. I doubt that would be included with the final release of um, Windows 8. We have Checkmate, which is um, chess. It's a very groovy type of chess. And I quite like the look of it. I think this will be included with the final release. I like the style. I like um, the, you know, actual animations. Um, it's timed. You know, and it's quite fun. I really like the quirky, um, you know, chess pieces. And I really like how the game works. So yeah, that's good. Um, what else is there included? We have Word Hunt. Uh, I'm just going to do um, Timed Challenge, um, since this is probably the main version of it. You basically have to find as many words as you can in the time limit. In this puzzle, there's 104. Um, and you drag the letters of words. Um, for example, stat is probably a word. Um, trot, is that a word? Yep, that's a word. Um, what's another one? Uh, sun is a word. Uh, so roast is a word. Uh, what's that? I'm not sure, maybe it's a 5 point bonus or something, but that's basically um, how that game works, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we have this sort of um, flashcards um, game, I think this is for teaching young children how to spell words. Um, you know, some of, these, some of these words are um, a bit advanced, so they're probably for young primary school children in, you know, grade 1. Raspberry. Raspberry. So... Potato. They can basically see the name of it, the picture of it, how it's pronounced, and they can even attempt, you know, to draw their own, you know, potatoes if they want. Though, so, yeah, that's an interesting app. I'm not sure whether or not that will be included with the final release of Windows 8. We have Inkpad. This is not really a game, though I thought I would show it to you um, anyhow. It's basically a notepad, and as you can probably guess, this is going to be more fun if you have a tablet. You know, you can choose, you know, the pen colours. It's almost, um, it's basically a notepad. 
they include, you know, the four most popular colours, you know, people use to, you know, write with. So they basically want you to use it as a tablet notepad, I think. You know, it doesn't look bad. You could have some fun with this if you were on a tablet. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Sudoku. I don't know how to play Sudoku, though I will show you what this looks like. So, yeah, that's Sudoku. I don't know how to play it, so I can't really demonstrate it too much for you. Um, we have Copper. Um, this is actually an old game, I believe. It's been out for a while, though they have sort of redone it for a touch interface. Um, this will take a while to go through the tutorials, so I'm not going to bother to show you too much of it. So you basically, you know, move the blocks. Okay, it's gone and frozen on me. Okay, let's try this again. And you can also move it around, I believe. It's playing up a bit, I believe, that you can move the gear around. And I'm controlling the um, robot with my cursor, though I should also be able to pull the gear around. So it's playing up a little bit. It doesn't want me to move it around. So yeah, that game's not working correctly for me at the moment, so I can't really give you a good demonstration. And the last game is really simple, it's called Aircraft. It is um, for, you know, children that want to make paper airplanes. Um, they can basically, you know, draw on a paper airplane. So I can go to Clear Plane, and you know, I can choose a colour. I might want a green paper airplane. And I might want to, you know, you know, draw on it or write on it. You know, I might want to do a big MF, my initials on it. And I might think, you know, oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to now get a, you know, a bit of red. You know, oh yeah, this design is, you know, really cool, really mad ass. I want to go and fly it now. Um, so, yeah, then I believe you go back to the top view and you can um, print it out few instructions, it will tell you how to, you know, cut it out and fold it, etc. And you have a paper airplane that's, you know, really stylish, I suppose that's the best way of saying it. So yeah, that's an interesting app as well. Once again, I'm not sure whether or not that will be included with the final release. And we have Bitbox. It's Microsoft's um, shameful attempt of, um, you know, copying GarageBand. You know, I don't care if Microsoft want to do the same thing as Apple, though the fact of the matter is it's, you know, just horrible to use. Okay, so let me try and show you. Let me add a piano. I'm not sure how you know, you know, which line is what note. So, you know, you can add a few different, you know, instruments. So, a piano, I could add a guitar. basically how that app works, it's pretty shitty as you can... Yep, that's a pretty shitty app as you can tell and it's not working properly for me right now. Though, um, they are basically all of the games included, um, with Windows 8. You know, some of them are good, some of them are shitty. Um, I would tell you the games I would like to see included with the final release. Um, I think, you know, the piano will probably be included. Zero Gravity, I think that could be a good game if they have different animations and not the same animation between every level. You know, Paint Play will be included. It's like, you know, it's going to be the modern day MS Paint. I quite like Labyrinth. Maybe they can change that a little bit. Uh, Checkmate, I think that's definitely going to be included with the final release of Windows 8. I don't, I don't mind um, Word Hunt. Um, I'm sure that some people will like Sudoku, Inkpad will be included. 
And this game wasn't a bad game from memory. They've just sort of modified it a bit for the touch interface. So if that works, it's good. And I think Microsoft have to rethink this whole Bitbox application. It's a bit shitty at the moment. It's like a poor man's garage band. Um, now that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or, you know, leave a comment with your opinion of um, all, of the, all of the games I'm shown in this video. And thanks for watching.